How's it going, people? This is my backyard. My man cave's right over there. And um, just thought I'd get some sunlight, you know. Um, I'm out of wine, but I'm not out of <laughs> out of the woods with this book. Ah, it goes on and on for pages. I don't know, man. 145 verses. Okay, and I believe I left off on first number 90. Mm. All right. Okay, little martini. Oh, yeah, it's a hot day. Nice. Invigorating beverage. Okay, let's get this going. I don't know how far I'll get. <sighs> All right. Section 90. I don't think I can read through these glasses, damn it. And if he will do this, uh, section 89, I'm not sure if I read that one. If he will do my will, let him from henceforth hearken to the counsel of my servant, Joseph, and with his interests support the cause of the poor and publish a new translation of my holy word unto the inhabitants of the earth. I definitely did read that. Okay. Off to a great start on this video. 90. And if he will do this, I will bless him with a multiplicity of blessings. If he does what Joey tells him to do, which is what God really wants that he shall not be forsaken, nor his seed be found begging bread. Because that would suck. <sighs> 91. And again, verily, I say unto you, let my servant William be appointed ordained and anointed as counselor to my servant Joseph. It's all about Joey. Now he's still alive. Which ain't for long. In the room of my servant Hiram that my servant Hiram may take the office of priesthood and patriarch which was appointed unto him by his father, by blessing, and also by right. All right, I can't read this. These glasses are too dark. Okay. Ah. I'm in the shade. doesn't matter. If I was facing that way, I'd be in bright sunlight. Probably still wouldn't be able to read through these glasses. Ah. But I'd be, you know. I'd be chilling. Ninety-two. That from henceforth he shall hold the keys of the patriarchal blessings upon the heads of all my people. They're all his. I mean, they're God's, but, you know, Joey's mining the store right now, so everything's his first. <laughs> you can't get through... You can't get to Jesus unless you go through Joey. And you can't get to God without going through JC. So just one cult leader after another, I guess. And so it goes. 93. That whoever he blesses shall be blessed. And whoever he curses shall be cursed. I mean, he's going to have hoodoo hex powers. That whatsoever he shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Oh, 
man, that's a, that's some awesome power there. I mean, I think in Dungeons and Dragons you just automatically win with those powers, but you know. <sighs> Ninety-four. And from this time forth, I appoint unto him that he may be a prophet. He may be. And a seer, which is a prophet. He sees the future. They used to call them seers before they called them prophet. But, you know. And a revelator, which is also a seer and a prophet under my church, as well as my servant Joseph. He's going to be almost as good as Joey. I mean, that's some, God, that's some Jedi powers there. Not seen since the days of Muhammad. Bullshit. <laughs> Not seen since the days of Jim Jones, Koresh, and all those. And the ones to come. Because there's always plenty who love this racket. <sighs> Ninety-five, that he may act in concert also with my servant Joseph, but he better toe the line. Joey's calling the shot still. Who shall show unto him the keys whereby he may ask and receive? Are those are like a couple of magic rocks, Urim and Thummim, or something like that. Whereby he may ask and receive and be crowned with the same blessing and glory and honor and priesthood that once were put upon him that was my servant Oliver Cowdery. Ninety-six, that my servant Hiram may bear record of the things which I shall show unto him, that his name may be had in honorable remembrance from generation to generation, because that's what remembrance is for. Forever and ever, maybe not that long, but in a long time. 97. Let my servant William Law also receive the keys by which he may ask and receive blessings. Such a responsibility. Let him be humble before me, even though he's so awesome, like you are, and be without guile, and he shall receive my spirit, even the comforter. And it's not like a blanket that goes on top, you know, kind of like a quilt or an afghan or something. No, no, this is capitalized, comforter as in Holy Ghost, you know, that burning in the bosom feeling. Speaking of which, <sighs> comforter, huh? I have my own comforter. I made enough for two. This is number two. Some of it's probably melted ice. Mm, elderberries. Mm. I mean, hints of elderberries. I'm still on that canned wine kick, but I'm out of wine, so I'd do something else. Comforter, which shall manifest unto him the truth of all things, all of them. Without limit, probably. Like, you know, the next Powerball numbers. Nice. 
how many times do you really have to do that before you're, I mean, of course, give it all to them. You know? They'll never be enough. And shall give him in the very hour what he shall say. Wow, that's awesome. Hmm. Stealing one of my ladybugs. I, I uh, planted ladybugs here because I got a plum tree and a peach tree that being eaten up. I hadn't seen any in a while. It's been like a couple weeks since I released ladybugs. So it's good. There's a few alive still. They're not, you don't usually see them around here. I know it's one of mine. 98. And these signs shall follow him. He shall heal the sick. He shall cast out devils. That's handy. I mean, who needs penicillin when you can cast out devils? Or anything. Who do hex powers, you know? From the force. And shall be delivered from those who would administer him unto deadly poison. 99. And he shall be led in paths where the poisonous, poisonous serpent cannot lay hold upon his heel. Although, it wouldn't matter anyway. You just handle serpents like in the Gospel of John, you know. Drink Drano and it wouldn't affect him. You know, like Christians do all the time. Especially as Mormons. You can't even have coffee or diet soda. <laughs> yeah, didn't say anything about Drano. No, I don't want anybody to really do that. There's actually a bunch of Mormons I care a lot about. I'm not fucking with them, I'm just fucking with this. If they take it wrong, well, I can't help that, can I? And he shall mount up in the imagination of his thoughts as upon eagle's wings, because the you know, sky's the limit when you're imagining stuff. Even though your feet stay on the ground, unless you're in a hammock <sighs> or something. 100. And what if I will that he should raise the dead, huh? Let him not withhold his voice. So don't hold back, man. You can do it. You could, like, you know, do, you know, move mountains with the, the faith of a mustard seed, like Christians do all the time. And the more, you know, the Muslims, they can actually, you know, Muhammad can't come, so let's just bring that mountain to him and set it on him. Shit be upon his name. 101. Therefore, let my servant William cry aloud and spare not with joy and rejoicing, which is the adjective ver uh, version. <laughs> it's joy in action. I dated a joy once. Yeah, the action was good. Um, and with hosannas, can't say I have, uh, to that, uh, to him that sitteth upon the throne forever and ever. So there's an extra ever place. In case forever ain't enough. Forever and a half. Plus one or something. Say the Lord your God, who happens to be the one who's cast his plan on that throne for all that time. Plus one. I hope I'm making sense, because I might keep a track. One hundred and two. That's where I'm keeping track. Behold, I say unto you, I have a mission in store for my servant William. And my servant Hiram. And for them alone. <laughs> yeah, it's like, 
Yeah, Frodo and uh, Samwise, they, they're on a, by themselves. Except those are real things that happen. Because it's written down and put people revere and shit. Totally lost my place. How can it be? And for them alone. And let my servant Joseph tarry at home. Hey, you know, it's orders. He'll tarry at home rather than go back to uh, Missouri and get thrown in jail again. God wants him to do that right now. For the moment. For he is needed. The remainder I will show unto you hereafter. Even so, amen. That was pretty fucking heavy. All right, 103. This book is starting to fall apart. I need to read faster. 104. And if he will offer unto me an acceptable offering, of the hymnal, and acknowledgments, he needs acknowledging, it's not like he's a little bit insecure at all. He just needs constant praising and be told how great he is. Not because he needs it, but because... You just need, you should be doing it, because he is. And we need to tell him this. God, you're great. Thanks for not squashing me for the moment. Or drowning me or any of the sort of things you've done before. Funny, though. I seem to be doing fine. As a matter of fact, exemplary. Outstanding. Acknowledgments and remain with my people. That's Joey. Behold, I, the Lord your God, will heal him that he shall be healed. I heard he was a healer. And he shall lift up his voice again on the mountains someday. It's going to happen. And be a spokesman before my face. That's God talking. So, take that to the bank. Mm. Mm. Okay. 105. Let him come and locate his family in the neighborhood in which my servant Joseph resides. Let's be homies. 106. And in all his journeyings, let him lift up his voice as with the sound of a trump. And we're not talking Donald. It's, it's not capitalized. Completely capitalized. As in like a trumpet. And warn the inhabitants of the earth to flee the wrath to come. But not yet. Pretty soon. When you're least expecting it, it'll happen eventually. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah. 106. And in all his journeyings, let him lift up his voice as with the sound of Trump. I've done that. I'll do it again. And warn in the inhabitants of the earth to flee the wrath to come. The inhabitants of the earth, how, where are they going to flee to exactly? What, the moon? Maybe Mars? I mean, not everybody gets to be Matt Damon, you know. Matter of fact, I think only Matt Damon gets to be Matt Damon. That sucks, man. Selfish bastard. Okay. 107. Let him assist my servant Joseph. He needs a lot of help. 
and also my servant William Law. He needs help helping Joey. Assist my servant Joseph. I spoke too soon. <laughs> In making a solemn proclamation unto the kings of the earth, because we're still waiting to hear back from them. <laughs> okay, I'm alright. <laughs> yeah, the kings are just waiting in line to talk to Joey. Where's the treasure hidden? Oh, wait, you're into a new racket now? Can we be a part of that? I don't think I can finish this chapter. Yeah, the section that killed my ass. Right. <laughs> making his sock with uh, us. Making my servant, Joseph. Uh, and also, let my servant, William Law, is my servant, Joseph, in making a solemn proclamation unto the kings of the earth, even as I have before said unto you. And he has said that before. Time or two or more. What a wait! God damn it. If my servant Sydney will do my will, we're hoping. Let him not remove his family unto the eastern lands. Because they're all a little bit nervous right about now. This close to paradise and Working out. All those goddamn Canaanites already live in there. Or, I mean, whatever the American version of that is. Oh, yeah, all of us. <coughs> okay. But let him change their habitation, even as I have said. Okay. I hope we have an understanding here. Joey tells you what you're going to do for as long as he's alive. And then there's a little power struggle. And then Briggy. Okay. We jumped ahead a little bit there. All right. Uh, 109. Behold, it is not my will that he shall seek to find safety and refuge out of the city, which I have appointed it to you, even the city of Nauvoo, that comes to that. And it did. <laughs> ah, I'm getting silly here. So. I love nature. Yeah, damn it. Hmm. Totally lost my place. I think I. One ten. How was that? Verily, I say unto you, even now, back then, if he will hearken unto my voice, it shall be well with him, even so. Amen. That was worthy of a whole fucking verse. Okay. One eleven, and again verily, I say unto you, take note of the verily, that means even more amplitude of intensity. <sighs> verily, I say unto you, let my servant Amos Davis, but uh, Davies, pay stock into the hands of those whom I have appointed, who they are. It may have changed by now. To build a house for boarding even the Nauvoo house. 
We're still hoping. One twelve. Got time for a video break. Mm. Mm. Hang on. No time for that. One twelve. Let him do. Pippi will have an interest. Don't you know everything already? What is this? If he will. In case he doesn't. Fuck, man. You're a seer. And a, uh, a revelator. All that shit. And let him hearken to the counsel of my servant Joseph. That's the important part, because he's writing all this shit down, pulling it directly out of his ass, as he goes, for as long as he lived. That's what happens when you follow a con man who finds treasures with magic rocks and shit like that. And labor with his own hands, because you don't expect Joey to do any work. I mean, he's busy with all his wives and pseudo wives and shit. <sighs> that he may obtain the confidence of men, because we're not sure yet. We're waiting to see some. Maybe there's some recent icy gin. Maybe a little bit left. Getting as far as I can, I swear. I'm trying. This is a long ass fucking section, and it's kicking my ass. Because this is a whole nother day after the one I did before. The ones I did before. Oops. I'll remove this toothpick before I swallow it. Okay, that's it. <sighs> One thirteen. And when he shall prove himself faithful in all things that shall be entrusted unto his care. Yea, even a few things. He shall be made a rule over many after he proves himself. So a guy who knows everything in advance Makes perfect sense if you don't think about it too much. 114. Let him therefore abase himself that he may be exalted because groveling leads to being raised upon a Except it doesn't, but in Mormon imagination, it does. Okay. Even so, amen. 115. And again. Verily, I say unto you, if my servant Robert D. Foster will obey my voice, and that's God through Joseph, Jr., Let him build a house for my servant Joseph according to the contract. Wait, you 
made him sign a contract. Hmm. Okay. Which he has made with him. As the door shall be open to him from time to time. So there you go. But 16. And let him repent of all his folly. Turn it off like a light switch. You just go click. It's a neat little trick. Now it's gone. Awesome. <sighs> One sixteen, and let him repent all his folly and clothe him, clothe himself with charity. I do that all the time. I shop at the Goodwill and any other thrift store that will still let me through their portal. And cease to do evil. I've been doing a lot lately. I apologize for that. Too busy just making a living to do a bunch of fucking evil. I'm speaking to myself. Maybe I'm just being lazy. And lay aside all his hard speeches. One seventeen. And pay stock also into the hands of the quorum of the novel house. Because, you know, you know, stock is limited. Hurry, or you're going to be left out someday. Maybe. For himself and his generation after him, from generation to generation. Interesting way of saying that. 118. <laughs> Need some more to drink. God damn it. And 118. Uh, and hearken unto the council by servant Joseph, the most important thing you can learn until he's dead. And that happened. Then Hiram, also dead, a long time ago. And William Law, who the, whoever the fuck that is. Um, and unto the authorities which I have called to lay the foundation of Zion. Whoever can afford it. I'll take anybody. And it shall be well with him. Only guys are allowed in school. Forever and ever. Even so. And that's a good place to stop because I'm rather fucking sick of this already. So the next verse I start the next video on is 119. And I promise we'll wrap it up in that video. So stay tuned. Or, and I don't blame you for this, if you're if you've had more than enough and you've actually made it this far, peace the fuck out. And I want you to have a wonderful little fucking you're having. I don't care what it is, but I want you to have it. Whatever it is. Just make sure it's fine. Bye. Be good.